What is going on guys? Welcome to your 12th PHP tutorial and in this lesson what we're going to be doing is testing and debugging our program. Now before I want to start I want to mention this. Whenever you download or excuse me whenever you create a program like this that does something like downloads a bunch of files or data say the stock data for the last five years we want our final program to do. Whenever we first test it we don't want to download all that information for because for testing purposes we only need maybe 10 rows or maybe you know the last month or something so we don't want to just hop right into downloading 10 years of data before we even know if the program works so what I did is I changed the date to December 19th 2011 that gives me about two weeks so eventually whenever I run this program I want to run it through like 10 or 5 years of data but just for testing purposes I just want to mention that I changed the date and also I noticed that I used um, the wrong ticker for Apple so I changed my tickers a little bit I have Yahoo for Netflix Adobe and GE so you know those are just some minor changes I made and some minor tips that I wanted to give you so in order to upload it to your server first please make sure that you have this text files um, directory or folder now it's going to be empty by default and in order to create one just go ahead and right click and hit create directory and that is because remember in our last little function on our main what we did is we saved all of these text files in a folder called text files so we need to make sure that we have that folder so our server knows where to store the files so now let me just go ahead and refresh this make sure everything is saved and now that it is I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all that crap and hit enter and it should be good to go so everything was transferred successfully and again look nothing is in my text files right now but hopefully that's about to change so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to danielle1986.org and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the stock downloader.php now whenever I do it's gonna run this script which basically uh, you know creates that CSV file dumps all the data into our database so go ahead and hit it and it's gonna say waiting waiting and now my page is done loading and we see nothing at all Searching, oh crap, Bucky, you messed up something. Let's go look at the code, see what you did wrong. Actually, this is good. We don't have any echo statements or any outputs to verify our success. We probably should have one right after this. But anyways, if we don't see any messages, that means we don't have any error messages. That's another thing. I didn't suppress any of the error messages, so not seeing anything is a good thing. So we don't see anything, so how do we know if our program worked? Well, we have to go by and kind of check each step by step. So the first thing it did was it created a URL for each company, and it downloaded the CSV file, and it converted those files into a text file. So let's see what companies were working with Yahoo, Ford, Netflix, Adobe, and GE. So the first thing we want to make sure is do these companies have text files on our server? So let's look at our server, text files, and refresh this. And oh yeah, Adobe, Ford, GE, Netflix, and Yahoo. Another thing I do is I look at the file size. If you messed up, sometimes your file size will be zero, and that means it downloaded it and saved it as a text file, but you have no data so as of now we have five text files and they all have some data in them perfect now what I want to do is remember after we have those text files what we wanted to do was pretty much take the information from them and insert it into our database so I'm gonna hop over to my cPanel hit PHP my admin and I'm gonna go to my database which is YouTube and check it out <clears throat> If I look at each company, Adobe, Ford, GE, Netflix, Yahoo, first of all, tables were created, and we didn't do that, so our program successfully created tables. And it also, if you look at the rows and the size, it has information in them. So let's go ahead and click on Netflix or something. And oh my, that looks freaking beautiful. It looks like everything turned out to be all right so remember we took all of the data from let's see what it was December 19th 2011 until the current day so if we go ahead and look at our final product the database it took all the information from December 19th and made it until the current day and remember it was a uh, New Year's Eve and uh, New Year's so and then a weekend tomorrow's Monday 
so you know they don't trade stocks on the weekend or on holidays so that's why we don't have um one three twelve because uh oh how can i say this the last two days they haven't been trading and today they uh the stock market hasn't opened yet so anyways aside from that it looks like everything is working out perfectly again with the amount change this is the dollar amount the stock change and the percent change remember i times these by a hundred already so this is a quarter of a percent um, this went down this day a little over two percent this went up almost four percent which is really good so you know if you see small numbers like this i want to tell you guys that this is indeed the percentage even though it's a small percent so there we go not too much debugging to do not for a pro programmer like myself thank you very much and uh, in the next tutorials what we're going to be doing is now that we have the data in the database we begin we can begin writing our own custom formulas to go through historically and see what formulas work which were good indicators of determining when the stocks going to go up and down so on and so forth so it's going to be amazing i am super excited for it and uh yeah that's it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video